And this week, Phil and I are battling our way through the property market in ancient York. We're going to be using our professional home finding skills to try and capture the perfect pad for a perky professional. Jackie Thompson lives life in the fast lane. She's a high flyer in the world of computer software. I work an average of a 60-hour week. By the time it comes to Friday, I just want to kick the shoes off, get rid of the suits um, and enjoy I'll myself. I'm quite a fun-loving person. I enjoy having a good time, work hard and play hard, really. I've got the most wonderful neighbours, but quite simply, I'm, I'm quite noisy, really, as a result of having parties. And I think it's about time I gave them a bit of peace and quiet. Jackie spends much of her life on the road, but her heart belongs in her hometown. It's great after having a, a week of tearing around the country, just coming back to York and just relaxing for the weekend. York still retains its charm and history. Its prosperity was built on traditional heavy industries, but it's best known as the home of chocolate. Today it provides a haven for overworked urban professionals. York is an architectural oasis surrounded by thriving commercial centres, so its property is highly desirable. In this vibrant university town, business is brisk, investments increasing and house prices are on the up. York seems to be a real property hotspot, so it's the ideal place to buy um, for investment purposes. And it's the perfect time for Jackie to get somewhere. Newly promoted, she's just sold her present flat for a tidy sum and is now looking for somewhere special. Here she is. So, what exactly is the brief for this property search? What is it that you want? And how much are you prepared to spend? Well, I'm not looking for a specific type of property. I'm just looking for somewhere with real character. That's my main criteria, really. Budget, I was thinking spending around 200,000. However, I decided I would really push the boat out if I find the perfect property that had real investment potential. And if I find something like that, then I'll spend up to around 300. Yes. OK. We'd better get to it. So, a flexible budget and an open mind. Sounds promising, but does she really know what she wants? Having such a broad budget of between two and three hundred thousand pounds means a huge range of properties are open to us. Our challenge as professional home finders will be to narrow the field. Property number one is in the pretty suburb of Acom, 15 minutes northwest of the city centre. Built around 1810, it's held on to plenty of period character. It's also under budget at £199,950. Here we are. It has four bedrooms and is very much in the traditional layout. All the rooms are a similar size and packed with period features. Downstairs, there are three receptions. One leads straight into the biggest room of the house. Well, Jackie, how about this for a kitchen? It's a great size, actually. I'm really surprised. Are you much of a cook? I'm not a cook at all, I'm afraid. I'm quite happy to entertain, but I'm not a cook at all. The kitchen looks out onto a huge and beautifully kept garden, and to the side, the driveway with double gates could provide a secure home for Jackie's beloved sports car. But a traditional layout does have its drawbacks. It's a bit of a warrant. Jackie's second reception room, and believe it or not, still one more to go. Right. The first thing, I guess, that strikes me about this room is a gorgeous room, actually, really nice. Um, the ceilings are a little low, I guess. The, the house is built just after the 1800 mark, um, and low ceilings were indicative of, of that period. OK. It's a little small. My first thought was, you know, could we extend this room? Could we, for example, knock the wall down to take um, it through into the next room? But you've got a mighty big um, chimney breast here mm -hmm. in the bedroom above and the attic above that. Right. So in order to take this out, you'd either have to start in the attic and remove that one, then the one in the bedroom, mm -hmm. and then this one, or you'd have to support them. Okay. And that would be very expensive. You'd be looking at mm -hmm. ten or 12000 to do right. that. So, to modify it to suit Jackie's needs would be pricey, and we'd be losing the very thing we're paying for here, that period charm. But traditional doesn't necessarily mean tiny. We go 15 minutes south of the city to the popular area of Fulford for something on a grander scale. This massive Victorian townhouse with its own self-contained flat is over budget, but could be a shrewd investment. Fancy this, Jackie? It's a monster. Mm -hmm. There's five mm -hmm. bedrooms here. It's on the market at 315,000, mm -hmm. which I know is slightly in excess of what you were planning to spend, but it does come with a basement that you could let out, an entirely separate flat. 
She said she'd consider an investment. We think she'd make money living here. This is the basement flat, Jackie. It doesn't have any direct access from within the house. It's totally self-contained. Sitting area, kitchen, small bedroom space and bathroom. It throws a slightly different to spin on the, on the way that you could finance this. It wouldn't purely be a residential mortgage. Some of the money that you would borrow would have to be on a buy-to-let scheme, which is slightly more expensive, but there's lots of those opportunities. But what about the main house that would be Jackie's home? Now, this is the room, I think, which you would have as your reception room. It's an amazing room with two windows being on the corner. It's great. Love the proportions, the high ceilings, the features. It's wonderful. Already, I'm quite impressed. Another very sizeable room, Jackie. It's a little bit dated. Oh. And a friend. Yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, the ceiling's been lowered. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. It was very fashionable in the 70s to do it. There's only a day's work to take that out if you didn't like it. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it would be one of those things you'd want to do almost immediately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't put things into our mind. No, I'm not. I'm just saying that, you know, you don't mm -hmm. like lowered ceilings, do you? No. Do you? Do you? Do you? I can't it really. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> now, up here, you've got the second and third floor with five bedrooms and two bathrooms. And the main one's got some hidden surprises. Jacuzzi bath, and then look, you've got this. Your own sauna. Wow. This is great. Isn't that amazing? This is really great. So, jacuzzi sauna, sauna jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. You spend the whole time in the bathroom. Really. <laughs> yeah. You can have parties in here and all sorts. What a great chat up line. Come and see my sauna. sauna and jacuzzi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jackie's really warm to this property, but a house this size is a big responsibility, and being a landlady is a bigger one. Something for her to mull over. Jackie's not hooked on a specific period. She just wants character. So our next choice combines traditional features with contemporary cool. This riverside loft conversion at Woods Mill Quay has two bedrooms and is on budget at £250,000. Well, this is real inner-city loft living, Jackie. It's striking, isn't it? It's the penthouse apartment. Mm -hmm. Used to be a wood mill. Mm -hmm. So we've kept the original features. It's just been renovated, but the finish is fairly basic. No wooden floor, no carpet. Right. That's one of the mm -hmm. things you have to bear in mind if you buy a flat like this. Mm -hmm. There are some additional expenses. Mm -hmm. But one thing that you are paying for already Spectacular is the view. spectacular view. view. Look at that view, though. It's great. fantastic. We're in the heart of the city here, along the banks of the River Ouse. If you're a young, stylish professional, the riverside here is the place to be. Warehouse conversions and spectacular new developments are all the rage. Prices are rising, and everyone wants to get on the boat. But there is a trade-off. Space is at a premium. Obviously a very small kitchen jacket. It's something that we're seeing a lot of developers putting in, in mm -hmm. inner city places. Mm -hmm. But they reckon that people are going to eat out a lot. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, I guess this kitchen isn't, isn't used for any more than just heating up meals, which I know I'm guilty of, but I guess I'd like somewhere with a bit more space so at least my friends come around. There's somewhere for you to at least talk to them, you know. This is the best inner city flat that we could find on the market mm -hmm. at 250000 mm -hmm. Is it for you? Well, it's a great flat, it's got real character, um, but I don't think it's for me really. Um, I guess two bedrooms, so less living space. It's the inner city thing. You're mm -hmm. paying to be in, in, in the city walls mm -hmm. with a parking space and the on the river. Mm -hmm. So this is a case of style over content. Jackie liked the design and bought into open plan living, but the space was too small. Not a problem with our next choice. Just 15 minutes across town, we found another open plan property that oozes contemporary chic. So, what do you think? Oh, wow. <laughs> Come in and have a look. OK. It's £335,000, which is over budget, but it's new on the market, so there haven't been any offers on it yet, which means we could try and negotiate the price. We felt for Jackie this was a must-see. Stunned silence. <laughs> this is just stunning. Designed by a local architect, the house is on two levels and has one huge room on the ground floor with an open plan kitchen and utility room. French doors lead to a patio and large garden. 
There's also a guest bedroom with ensuite and a small reception room in a separate wing, ideal for those guests who sleep over. It's not only stylish, it's innovative too. It's quite a statement, this space. You'll mm -hmm. notice there aren't any radiators on the walls. Yes. Yeah, and in actual yeah. fact, the, the heating is under the floor. Oh, yeah. right. Oh. Which is far more expensive yeah. to place. Right. But so once yeah. it's in place, 30% cheaper to run. Fantastic staircase. Yes. <laughs> up into the master suite. Bathroom and all the bits through there. Plenty of storage. And now, what do you make of this? It's wonderful. Very light and airy. It's just so different, really. The problem, mind you, is that it's over my price range. We sometimes say, go and see the thing, which is more than you can afford. Mm -hmm. You may find the grass isn't as greener on the other side as you think. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, in this case, it's a very it's vivid shade of everything. <laughs> <laughs> but there could well be a deal to be done here. Priced at 335000 we would be talking to the developer. He would have set the asking price as high as he can do so with mm -hmm. a straight face. Right. I would hope there'd be quite a bit of flexibility in that. OK, so perhaps room for manoeuvre there. Yeah, definitely. Right. Mm -hmm. I love it. I just, it's just fabulous. When can I move in? She's well and truly smitten, but we've still got more to show her.